Welcome back everyone to episode 19 it is of the Witcher Wild Hunt. We are about to meet Yennefer. Well, we got to do a kind of long horse ride and then we will meet Yennefer. Are these bandits? Oh. Oh. He sounded weird. Um we will meet Yennefer at the cause of the cataclysm. Cata cataclysm? That that place, sorry. That place. That's where we're going. That's a big dog. I haven't seen so many dogs anywhere except here. Really, I don't think. Which is nice. It's nice to see some doggies. And matey, earlier when we washed up on the beach, last episode. Last episode? Maybe the episode before when we washed up on the beach of Arg Skellic. We, um... Move it. We got to see him with a wolf. That's and yeah, that's another thing we haven't seen people have a pet wolves. Sorry, I was trying to figure out what happened there. It's, it hurt my head thinking about it. We go. Oh no, we stopped at the wrong spot. Put your sword away, Dad. There we go. Oh, am I going the right way? No. I just looked at my map and I was like, whoa. I'm way off. Way off, fam. We have not passed a single sign. We should have gone through there to get the sign, I think. Uh kind of sucks. Um, come on now. Yeah, though we That's didn't. Because if we do have to come back here, there's no way of just easy teleporting. Unless, there we go, spoke just too soon. Oh. But the mask of Orberus is no trifle. Have you any idea what could happen if it's Okay, assumed? so we stole his any mask. Any idea of the consequences? No, but neither do you. So stop panicking. <laughs> they can hear you two clear on the other side of yeah. the island. Good. May all Skellige know, Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief. Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Ooh, ooh, kill him. Just kill him. One small problem. Kill him. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive and all the isles with us. Um. Okay, what are you talking about? Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Orberus created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Orberus made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. Okay. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask Ooh. would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. Um... Yeah, so then, so did he ever use no it? no one's ever used the mask? No, but... So you don't actually know if it works, how it works? Of course I do. The myths tell me. The you myths. believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. Um... Three. Let's go. 
Theft or no theft, Croc gave us free reign. Croc. First off, this might indeed be his isle. But we, the druids, watch that no alien magic takes hold here. Secondly, after the cataclysm have occurred, Croc turned to us for help and trusted this site to our care. Yep, and you've obviously Third. done nothing there. Oh. What was that? Has she used the mask? No. Jennifer's used the mask. Bruh. Follow me! We must neutralize the mask! Neutrix power! Bruh, Yennefer. How many is 70 meters? I don't need the. I do not need the horse. What has Yennefer done? Here it is. Uh oh. Oh, we can't hit Yennefer. Who hit me? Why did I get rid of my shield? Oi. Buddy. Um, ah. Oh. Two again. Okay, sorry. I meant to. Hey. Where are you, silly little thing? There you are. Oi, stop hitting me. There we go. We found you. Magical thing. Oi, oi. And we got to, uh, uh, F. Oh, let's go drunk. <gasps> drunk Rick. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> drunk Rick. Damn it, Yana. I saw the foglets. I meant how they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. Um. Two. We'll Urban go with two. The mask might cause a natural disaster. Fortunate he's here then. He can jump right in, try to tame it. Realize he won't let this pass. Oh, no, probably not. Somehow. Okay, let's go. What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Do we wear it now? Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Um gonna read my mind again <laughs> object no you do it whenever you want anyway no harm in it then is there oh cute let's go already found the first spot your boy be drunk and I need more food Okay. This is the spot. Put on the mask. Any instructions? Keep it on until we've seen everything. And don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range. What's that? Okay. The portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved. Like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come. Let's find the next spot. Okay, come on. Come on, Yennefer. You go first. Hey, hey, you're in my way. Oh, oh. Hey, hey. No, no, I'm not ready. There's people here and they are trying to kill me. Why do they hit so hard, these guys? Stunned. Stunned. Yeah. I thought there's two of them for some reason. Why have I got no hill? Where are we going here? Whoa. Watch out! That's Suri, what definitely. That? Hmm. A magic explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But okay. Siri and her companion weren't harmed. 
I saw them escape. Let's see where to. They went this way. Didn't this is they? creepy. Yeah. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. So you can take care of yourself. Hey, buddy. Hey. 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 Stun him. Woman. Thank you. Whoa. So, oh, so they must duplicate themselves looking. Oi. 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 Why? He said it was stunned. He said it was stunned. It said he was stunned and then he keep hitting me. That's annoying. Very annoying. I don't know where we'd restart after the second um, look see into the past, I guess. Hopefully it would have auto-saved there. And maybe. Place is creepy. I don't like it. Yep, exactly where I, I thought. Sweet. So then we fight him here. Oi! Stun him, woman. Please. Aha. I'm almost dead as well. I don't know what T does, but I'm gonna use it. Okay. Um. Eh. There we go. Thank you for helping me. Foglet T. Don the mask. No, thank you. Where is it? Here. What Someone happened there? chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? No. Magic residue trail leads to Velen. Velen. Any chance you can figure out where Siri's companion fled to? His portal's got to be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Where? Where else are we going? Where else are we going? In what? Oh. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. How are you? Oh. 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 Kill him. Oh, come on. Where is he? Hey! Ah! At least Yen's doing damage to it. Hey, why can't I hit him? Thank you. I think I'm not sure if that was Yen or him. Me, um, my shield. But I do need some healy. Well, boy. Ready? Yeah, okay. Use the mask. What happened there? Nice fight. One repelled the other with powerful magic, uh. then fled to a talk. A mage? Most likely. Okay, so we got a mage with him. Her, sorry. With her. It's Siri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Siri's got a powerful ally. Okay, um, where did the mage flee to? The mage who was with Siri fled too. Nowhere? Hmm. His trace path leads to Velen as well. But the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Siri's. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz and Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Siri. Oh. surprised if it wasn't the same one. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. Definitely. One. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermian must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. <laughs> Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you brought down on us. 
We'll see what Krach has to say about this. Um. Two. Oh, two. Relax. Storms died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now. But who knows what will be a week or two on? Stop panicking. Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something. As if you wouldn't keep it anyway. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. So? Um. Uh, one. Got a feeling we found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. Yeah. Where is it? Something's pinned under that tree. Can you? I can. Thank you. What is it? Who is it? Is it a deaded person? Armor's clean. No blood, no sword nicks. Siri's friend must have. What do you call it? Vaporized him. Vaporized him. It. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Wild Hunt. Probably because it belonged to a writer of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true. The Wild Hunt. I feared as much. First That's, here, mm. then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? Because she's all powerful. Um. Elder blood flows in Ciri's veins. Tis uh, true, she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Duran, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Yeah, Ciri's yeah, exception. yep. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Huh? Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Uh huh. Speaking of the hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck here on Ard Skellig. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. What? Survive? That's just or dozen weird. Or so women and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Let's go together. Wait, can't we go together right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay Aww. close to me. Yeah, we go with her. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. No. Rude old man, mage. Druid. Sorry, not mage. And we get teleported with Yen. Quite a which few is years fun. since I was last on Hindersfjall. But if I remember correctly, Lofton should be this way. And we level nine. We be leveling up. Not as fast Rings as I thought we would, but we're getting this. This must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. Yeah, didn't the wild hunt do this? Uh, who do we talk to here? Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. We'll Dear do sisters, no such thing. Pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So. And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. Um. We'll go one. We're looking for a young woman. Name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. 
She's not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I buried so many. I may, I may have forgotten. This, this Siri. Uh, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yep. Yes. Yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment. Right before, before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. Um, let's go to just hear some more information. Else, anything at all. Only that she seemed tired. Very tired. And, and her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sca Craven. My apologies, Craven. Craven could have told you more. What was she about to say, Scar? This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. Oh, that's what she was about to say. To exist. The law forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. She was about to what utter his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. Um. Morkvag. What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skellige. Nothing was ever. Oh, so we're still in Skellig. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm -hmm. Know the type. They said he feared only one thing the, the wrath, wrath of, of the, the gods. gods. Borkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindisfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him. And Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. Okay, um... I can get rid of Morkvarg. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvarg, yet he always returns. Oh. So, it's a complex curse. Meaning I need more information. I understand. But I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the Okay, so we have a couple things we can do now. he's not out to sea when you arrive. Um... Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Okay. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Yes, we do, don't we? We definitely do. I've done that before. Witcher. Mm -hmm. Witcher. Okay, so we've got a couple things we can do. But I think there's one that's most important, yeah. So. Huh. I think I gotta follow her now. Let's go, woman. Morgan, Yen Yen. What are you gonna do in this big place? They're not coming back. You're up too. Worried this trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead. We'll manage. How exactly? You'll yeah, how exactly? Comes. What What do you think is going to happen, sometimes. buddy? I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? Oh, we're in love with her. 
Look at that cute little jump. Wow. Wow. Uh huh. So this is the god. This is it. A bite. Just one morsel. <laughs> one piece. A crumb. Uh, uh, food. Uh, food. Uh, food. <laughs> Shake. Not, not, not again. again. Not again. What? What just happened? He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. What? So, uh, where should we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Okay. So we look hard. Craven was here. Yeah. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Blood stains. See them? No. No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a ball and chain. Plan to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. I wasn't gonna say Fine. ball and chain. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Oh, well, that's good. I'm gonna get two. Thought you might object. Me? Please. I can be extraordinarily conciliatory. Oh, then, good honor. Look me in the eye. What, what are, are you, you plotting? plotting? <laughs> Many things. How to seize the Temerian crown. How to sell Cam Morin out from under you. Go already. That is cute. Love a girl with ambitions. Where am I going? Oh, we have to follow his um scent. It's this one. Okay. Buddy, get it. Examine. blood flowing profusely. Trails clear. Should lead me to him. I know why this is. Something down there. Can't see a thing. Okay, there we go. Is there a couple of them? There are. Light prints. Craven trod carefully. Okay. He went here. He went down. Oh, these are just wolves. That's what they are. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted that. Okay. Is that him? No bite marks. Morkfark doesn't eat his victims. Strange. Is it Craven? No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Her senses are really dulled. Why is there a lot of standing around there? Oh. Oh, there are so many. Hey, buddy. Hey. Come on. Oh, they hit me for a lot of health there. I'm not happy about that, eh? I've got no more food. They would have maybe uh, some meat on them. Wolf sliver. Monster tracks. Running. Chasing something. Okay. Looks like Morkvar got bored of sneaking around and attacked. And attacked. Okay. Where else are we going? Buddy? Uh, there's a pool of blood there, which is kind of weird. blood. Let's keep going. Um, I don't need to examine every little thing. Door won't budge. Craven must have blocked it, or it's just locked. Got to huh. go round. Okay. 
There's this door down below, maybe? Locked. Or I jump. This is very weird, this garden. I think. Let's go. Ah. Uh, a lot of blood in here. Loot. Broken rake. Any food I can use. Loot. Nope. Okay, so there's nothing in here. Well then how do we get around? Here. Found it. Don't, oh, don't hit me, buddy. Um, is this him? Another corpse. No bite marks here either. Okay. Okay, let's go. Should we go for a swim? Hey. Oh, I can jump that. I didn't. I honestly just Can't thought I could maybe that. jump it. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. Okay. Um. Did I do that right? I. I guess I did that right. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Let's go. Up ye old ladder. You know what? Right before we get to the final boss fight. No. Um, we're going to end the episode here. So thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.